let's calculate a confidence interval around a proportion. We could choose pretty much any confidence level that we wanted, but the most common ones are 90%, 95%, and 99%. We will most commonly use the 95% confidence interval. A 95% confidence interval is a range of values that contains the population parameter 95% of the time. As with a confidence interval around means, the confidence interval around a proportion is the population proportion plus or minus a margin of error. As we look at this confidence interval, we see a lower limit of the range, we see an upper limit of the range, and in the middle is the population proportion. The width of a confidence interval can be changed by increasing or decreasing your level of confidence. And as sample size increases, your margin of error will decrease. Therefore, larger sample sizes give us better estimators. Unlike when we are creating confidence intervals around means, when we are creating confidence intervals around proportions, we can model using the normal distribution, as long as two things are true about our data. A sampling distribution of the proportion can be approximated by a normal curve as long as sample size times population proportion is greater than or equal to 5 and sample size times 1 minus the population proportion is greater than or equal to 5. And you can note the standard error of the proportion formula in the lower right. And now we can calculate a confidence interval around our proportion by using an Excel spreadsheet. Go to the Proportions tab for Intervals Week 13. We are going to select a random sample of size 30 and then determine how closely does our sample estimate the population proportion. We will repeat this three times. Now, what makes this unique is that this time we actually know the population proportion, and that is because I'm giving you a data set that contains all of the data. This is for teaching purposes because, as we know, in the real world, rarely or never do we have the entire population values. Find the box labeled Confidence Intervals for Proportions. For this example, all we need to do is enter the sample size. But because we are randomly selecting a sample each time, your answers will differ from the answers that you see on your screen. Enter a sample size of 30. Compare the proportion in the box that says expired to the actual population parameter of 0.5. To select a second sample, re-enter the number 30 for sample size. You now have a different proportion from a different sample. How close is it to the population parameter of 0.5? Now re-enter 30 as your sample size. This gives you another sample, which has another sample proportion. Compare it to the population proportion of 0.5. Feel free to play around by increasing your sample size and see how close your sample statistics come to the known population parameter. And now let's try a different example. A sample of 900 crystals revealed that 396 of them, or 44%, were usable for making space nightlights. Note that the 44% comes from dividing 396 by the total of 900. Develop a 95% confidence interval for an estimate of the proportion of the population of crystals suitable for nightlights. This time we are still in the Proportions tab. Scroll down to the box that says Do It Yourself. We will begin by entering the proportion. It's a 0.44. Remember that this has to be a number between 0 and 1. Now enter the total sample size of 900. And note that by default our coefficient is set to 95%, however it can be easily adjusted to 90 or 99. 
In this case, the confidence interval around the population proportion is 0.4076 up to 0.4724. These numbers could easily be converted into percentages, 40.8% and 47.2%. Now try it yourself with these settings. Calculate a 99% confidence interval. Is that wider or narrower than the 95% confidence interval? Calculate a 95% confidence interval with a sample size of 90. Is that wider or narrower than a sample size of 900 and a setting of 95%? How is your margin of error affected by increasing your sample size? And once you've worked this out on your own, here are the correct answers.